Hi, uh, my name is Basavraj. I am an associate professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering at IIT Madras. And we would like to uh, introduce a new course, uh, a new NPTEL course uh, called uh, Colloids and Surfaces. Um, this is an uh, interdisciplinary course which is uh, uh, useful for both um, uh, people from science as well as engineering background. Uh, I have listed uh, some disciplines here, um, but I am sure the course is relevant for many, many more disciplines. So, um, uh, so essentially what we will do is um, uh, we deal with uh, uh, systems where you have a, a again fluid particle systems uh, where there is a dispersed phase uh, in this case the solid particles uh, and there is a continuous phase uh, uh, in which these particles are dispersed. Uh, we are specifically interested in uh, particles in the size range from uh, 1 nanometer to 1 micron, uh, uh, which are uh, bigger than molecular dimension and uh, smaller than macroscopic uh, uh, particles. And um, of course, uh, a lot of relevance of these particles come from the fact that they have uh, uh, very high surface area. So, therefore, there is a lot of interest in looking at uh, uh, such particle particle filled fluids in several applications. For example, in petroleum engineering, one could be interested in looking at drilling fluids, uh, where the drilling flu fluids may contain different types of uh, uh, particles or in chemical engineering, uh, uh, there are cases where one would be interested to look at uh, um, uh, solid catalyzed reactions either in liquid phase or gas phase where uh, uh, you know the, the presence of uh, solid particles uh, uh, can uh, be used to catalyze certain type of reactions or uh, in environment science where uh, there is interest to look at um, uh, aggregation of particles in the context of uh, sedimentation. So, therefore, in order to understand some of these uh, uh, application of such particle fluid systems in several applications, there is an interest to look at uh, uh, this particular course, uh, where uh, colloids essentially refers to the size range of the, the particle that we are dealing with. And the surfaces uh, are inherent to uh, whenever you have a particle fluid system, because you have an interface between the particle and the fluid. And, and these surface effects become very important because you could have surfaces of a variety of surface chemistry uh, or surfaces with the different types of charges and you will see that the overall behavior of such systems are influenced by what is there on the surface. Okay? So, um, so uh, some of the common uh, examples where we come across such particle filled, filled systems are uh, milk, ink, paint. Um, aerosols uh, etcetera to, to, to name a few. Uh, so, just to uh, motivate you uh, uh, the relevance of this course, what we are looking at is a few different formulations. So, formulation 1 and uh, formulation uh, 2 and 3. Uh, all these vials uh, essentially contain uh, particles which are identical in terms of uh, uh, sizes and shapes. However, you see that in one case there is a formulation which uh, uh, almost remains visually same uh, with the uh, uh, progress of time. However, the other formulation there is clearly a, a phase separation and ultimately whatever is a dispersed species it, it uh, settles to the bottom. So, you come across uh, several formulations or several products where the shelf life becomes important. So, you could have uh, uh, for example, paint or you could also have uh, 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 syrup for example, where you have drug particles dispersed in the fluid. So, therefore, uh, the fundamental uh, colloid and surfaces uh, principles become important to understand some of these, uh, these uh, formulations, uh, I either to make new formulations as well as to understand the existing formulations which have applications in uh, uh, several uh, field. So, therefore, uh, in this uh, course, we look at uh, um, uh, we start with introducing colloids, uh, in which we will discuss different types of colloids, um, uh, different forces that act on the colloidal particles, and uh, the interaction between uh, colloidal particles. That is, 
what are the attractive and repulsive forces uh, that dominate the behavior of colloids. Um, and the next three modules are inted, intended to uh, discuss more in detail the colloidal interactions, the van der Waals interactions which are always present and the interaction uh, that become important when you have a particle that are charged. So, you could have uh, surface chemistry could be such that the particles can either have a, a negative charge or a part positively charged positive charge on the surface and in such cases the electrostatic interactions become important. We will um, discuss in detail um, uh, the development of electrostatic interactions in such systems. Uh, you can induce interactions by the addition of uh, uh, external species for example, uh, polymers uh, we will look at how the addition of uh, external species um, bring about new types of interactions. Uh, we will have a module devoted to electrokinetics um, which is a useful phenomenon and is exploited in the measurement of a parameter called zeta potential which can be used to uh, discuss the stability of uh, uh, colloidal systems. Uh, finally, we will end the course with module 6 in which uh, we will look at uh, colloids sitting at an interface of two fluids uh, versus uh, the colloids that were sitting in the bulk which are discussed in module 1 to 5. Thank you, I hope uh, we would um, uh, enjoy this course.